At the last Congress, I learned that scientists have more responsibility than simply research, than investigating physical phenomena. We would talked about ethics before, and I've thought about it, but I'd never really thought about this idea of scientific citizenship. And what I walked away with was that scientists don't just have a duty to do no harm, to not forge data. Uh, we actually have a responsibility to actively do good. I certainly didn't know how many areas that could encompass, uh, policy, education. I definitely walked away from this Congress with much more energy than I arrived with. My first Congress experience was in 2004 in Albuquerque. I took one student and went down and came back saying that was the most amazing physics conference I've ever been to. The talks were excellent and at a great level. The workshops were uh, productive and interesting. And I said, we are taking a busload of people to the next Congress. So we did. In 2008, we took 25 students and three faculty members and contracted with the local church. And they drove us in their school bus. And uh, we drove back all night coming back. Uh, and it was much cheaper than hiring a professional company. And um, we had a great time. And we've got 33 students signed up to go to Orlando. And we're very excited about that. We are having to fly uh, because of the distance, but um, we're saving a little money by taking the church bus to and from the airport here and looking for a local church in Orlando to take us to and from the airport there. We got a great donation from KW Corporation where one of our students interned this summer. Uh, he just asked and they said, awesome. And um, we have gotten money from a college research fund and we solicited alumni for donations. So we've patched together funds from a lot of different sources to try to keep the cost down for students. I am most excited about our speakers. Among them are astronaut John Grunsfeld, Dr. John Johnson, the exoplanet expert from Caltech, and Dr. Mercedes Richards, who will be speaking on the physics of tomography and how she uh, uses that to contribute to many other scientific disciplines. And on Thursday, we will be going to the Kennedy Space Center, and we get to be led around by one of the Space Center staff and see the museum and the launch pad and many other cool buildings that they have there. There also is going to be a breakfast with the scientists, where we just sit down with our speakers, we get to chat, eat breakfast, it should be a lot of fun. Uh, there will also be graduate schools and companies there who will be interested in talking to you, the students, and uh, they want to know, you know, what are you going to be doing in the future? You know, they want to talk about jobs or internships. Could be a good thing. Uh, and as a club, we ask for a donations from our president and our dean of students, and we're also having the uh, students contribute $200 to help fund our way to Orlando. Um, there should be about 800 people there. That's what we're expecting. So I cannot wait to meet all the other physics students there, and it should be a lot of fun. Hope we get to see you there too. The 2008 Congress was one of the most impactful experiences of my undergraduate career. Our school got a lot of people, we piled into cars, we drove six hours to Fermi Lab, and it was really incredible to see all those physics majors in one place. And one of the best parts was being able to go to the workshops. Um, you know, as a physics major, sometimes it feels like your job is to go to lectures, to do your problem sets, and that's kind of what physics is. And the workshops were completely different. We would go to a small talk, and then we would break into groups and really talk about issues that were popular and controversial in physics. And it was very inspiring to be able to talk with other physics majors and feel their passion for physics and learn from them and really feel like you're contributing to the physics community. And we have a lot more workshops planned for 2012. In addition to that, we have some really exciting speakers coming. Where else are you gonna get to hear Freeman Dyson and John Mather and Jocelyn Bell Burnell and David Salzberg all talking in one place? And so I guess if there's one thing to take away about why I go to Congress, I think it's important for undergrads to go to one professional meeting, at least, and this is the one that you should go to. It's, I mean, it's built for undergraduate physics majors with them in mind, and it's a lot of fun. So we hope to see you there in November.